shouted at the sky, Why? Why is this happening? And at first, there was no response. But then I heard a rumbling sound, like distant thunder. And as it got nearer, the clouds parted, and a light shone through. And then through the gap in the clouds came a shooting star. It came right down towards me, and I caught it. And when I opened my hands, there was a small red plastic heart there. And I looked back at the sky confused. And when I looked back at my hands, there was a small, tiny little baby in my hands. And I started to feel a tingling in my chest. And I looked back up and shouted again, What does this mean? I don't understand. And at first, there was no answer. And I thought, I can't take this with me. What am I supposed to do with it? And then, the most beautiful female voice came out of the clouds and said, you can carry it within your heart. I'd like to say about this song is that it is dedicated to a good friend of mine who sadly lost her battle to cancer a couple of years ago. Her name was Kerry McGregor and I had the pleasure of working with her during the 90s when we wrote music together and gigged extensively. And although the material that we wrote was at the opposite end of the scale from Citizen Kane, it was techno dance music nice simple melodies, simple beats. It was nice to do something so different from my work with progressive rock at that time. So as a tribute to Kerry, this song has several elements from that style of music included in it. And the chord structure and melody of the Shooting Star Child is actually from a song that we played together back then. Then the haunting vocal melody right at the end of the breach is from a song that we wrote together, aptly named The Realm of Dreams. Then there's a section in song five where meeting with Kerry after she had passed away triggers a lucid dream for me. Because that's another one of these things, these advantages that lucid dreaming brings us. To be able to conjure up friends and relatives that have passed away. And I don't claim to know if these are actual spirits making contact from the other side. But it is strangely comforting to talk again with a friend or to hear stories again from a grandparent that is no longer with us. And who knows, maybe dreams are a gateway between this world and whatever lies beyond. Thanks for watching.